one of the things uh, that we commonly observe is that most of the physicians who cannot diagnose rheumatoid arthritis or especially seronegative spondylitis they are often missed after many years somebody thinks oh it could be a it is not something that people think on the day one at the patient right In this case, this is the title that I have given you. Given you the case. If you study the diagnostic criteria, male patient very important because SSAs are more common in males. Young male. Coming with low back pain, involving radiating to shoulder and chest. So chest involvement is of the back, involvement of the chest. Restriction of spinal movements, and a very one of the most diagnostic thing is the chest expansion is greatly limited. It is only 1.5 centimeter. What is the normal chest expansion? Huh? Yeah? Oh, <laughs> But we don't know. Anything between three to five centimeters. Interesting. We don't know most of the times. Normal range. Last uh, part one MD exam, we had a. Put the question about semen analysis and the normal semen quantity taken by different students ranged from 1 ml to 20 ml. Platelet <laughs> <laughs> count range was phenomenal. So this is a very significantly reduced chest expansion. Yes, I think moderately reduced. Usually in SSN you do not get a very high yes, like in rheumatoid, except in cases of reactive arthritis. In ankylosing especially, the yes, I think moderately raised and does not necessarily correlate with the disease as much as it does. And there is a bilateral sacroiliitis. With osteopathic changes, and one of the most strong point indicator in favor of the diagnosis is the HLA B twenty three. It practically fulfills the typical classical criteria of HLA. He is a young hypertensive, symptomatic, and he has irritable bowel. Clinical part is clear. This is what a typical ankylosing patient will present to us. The experience I passed through was very clear. Because we usually follow the system of giving history form. So he had given me the history. I interviewed him for one hour. And in the history form, or almost in the end of the interview, even I had not suspected that this person will be having this. Because the way he had written his history and even narrating his complaint, it did not strike only that he could be having it. And it was only towards the end that I suspected he whether he is having ankylosing. And then I examined and. Confirmed, but he was having this pain for many years now, and he comes from a very well-to-do family. His father is a general manager of a very big company. So, to, you won't expect that he would not have got the best of the consultation. So then I asked him what, uh, whom you had consulted. Then he had gone to a good orthopedic consultant, and. 
uh, that orthopedic consultant's paper indicated that he has kept that as a most likely deal. And he had advised him physiotherapy. He had not had done all this workup. Yeah. This workup is something that I have done afterwards. But he had kept the possibility in mind. He had given him advice about physiotherapy. It had not registered. The patient had just taken the medicine for a few days and dismissed. So, ignorance is not rare in this. Whether it is an illiterate patient or a person coming from a well This is very important. And that is why awareness, acceptance, these are much later for the statements. That I am having such and such disease, which I have to now live for my life. It is very important because the physician has to help the patient become aware and then fight with him or make friendship with him as you will look at it. And adopt a lifestyle that will allow him to remain efficient for life. So these are the tasks that are demanded of the physician. And this person was particularly obstinate. So, suppose when I suspected, I told him that please get this, this test done, please get x-ray done. I told him don't go to this particular doctor because he is known to give very superficial and wrong reports. I got the x-ray done by the same radiologist which I had asked him not. And obvious acroelite is the radiologist is reporting in it. So, then once he got in my clutches, then I really caught hold of him. And I took him left and right. Why you are not following the instruction? And now I had the proof by which to handle. And then I made him to go to another radiologist which I had earlier suggested. Got a re-reporting done. Got other investigations done. Called his wife. Explained to both them what he is suffering from. What is its meaning what kind of exercises he will have to do so that he remains fit and it took time and it is in fact not that he was even lucky that that orthopedician had diagnosed it otherwise many people come to us from orthopedicians who have missed this diagnosis because firstly the disease takes time to develop Initial phases, it may not be suspected, or the even the orthopedician with his surgeon's mind may not have the mind to diagnose rheumatology. And forget the other rest of the general practitioners or competence. <coughs> Very easily missed. <coughs> we can miss. I will share you cases where we had also missed because it takes time. So this was a very peculiar experience. What you think? What we don't know why? What is he suffering from? Why is he suffering? What are the things which are contributing? It is one thing to diagnose the disease, and it is another to understand the factors that are contributing to it, the fundamental precipitating and maintaining causes. So have you made up? About why is this patient? What are the problems that he is facing? Why is this about? He is not really serious about whatever is happening. He is still waiting for. So he is stuck up in a soup where he doesn't know what he has to do and what he is not. He is in a state so where he is mentioning that I am waiting. I want to go abroad. My father is searching for a job out there. But still he, he himself is not doing it. Yeah. There may be that one thing which is causing all the problems. Dependent on his father. Dependent on his father. Who financial responsibility? He is like, say he is just not ready to take anything. 